and I saw her squirting bath water into her mouth from a toy that I realized was three years old, I kind of got a little nervous. In my house, bath time is really important to us. We almost have a bath every day, and when I realized that it might be making my baby sick, I felt sick. So I'm cutting into these bath toys, and I have an awesome solution that's really safe and easy. If you're ready, stick around. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Mandy. I love educating and empowering parents. This channel is a lot about childbirth, but I also really love parent hacks. You know, the things that make parenting super easy <laughs> because parenting is not super easy. None of it at all. Like none of it is easy. I don't think any of it is easy except the love part. But sometimes I don't always like, like them. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're here. This is my parenting made easy series. And by easy, I mean, uh, we just got to get through and help each other. So here's what happened. I had two babies. <laughs> One of them, my oldest is like, this angel baby and he I thought he was difficult but he is not my second baby chews eats licks swallows everything she is causing me some gray hairs and a lot of stress and when her giraffe started making weird water sounds do you hear that it sounds like there's water in there and it's really freaking me out. So when I realized that her toys maybe weren't safe and my kids are two years apart, so our bath toys are three years old. When I saw her squirting bath water into her mouth from a toy that I realized was three years old, I kind of got a little nervous. And I'm a nurse, I'm all about germs, good germs, I love germs, but mold is a different story. So. I came up with a solution and I'm super excited about it. But what I didn't want to do was um, glue the toys shut because my kids love squirting water out of them and squirting each other. And that just didn't really seem practical to glue all the toys because the whole point is that they're squirty and they're bath toys. So for floating, that's fine, but there, there's more to toys than just floating. So gluing them wasn't an option and cleaning them is just not really an option. I mean, I clean the outside of toys, but it's not realistic for me to clean all of the bath toys after every bath. My friends just throw out bath toys and then buy new ones. That's not really as green as I wanna be. That seems wasteful, and I don't really wanna teach my kids that everything that we have is uh, disposable because I don't believe that. So I didn't wanna go get brand new toys. I was kind of in a pickle. I'm going to tell you what I found and then I'm gonna cut these bad boys up um, I promised my son I wouldn't cut up this one so we'll see but he knows that the giraffe is done uh, so what I found was this company and they make silicone differently <laughs> they make it for parents and we know silicone is really awesome that's BPA free and phthalate free and PVC free dishwasher safe and um, it's really easy to just keep clean and dry. So I contacted Marcus and Marcus and I said, I need to see if this works because this is huge for our family. And I know there's friends and family out there that agree that if we can find things that we don't have to throw away every year and we can use them outside, we can use them inside, we can use them in the pool, we can donate them to someone else who has a baby when we're done with them. They don't, they are not disposable and they're safe. So I knew they were onto something, but I needed to try it out. So I asked them for this, they sent it to me. So thank you, Marcus and Marcus. When I'm looking at it, I can really tell that it's really thick and it's nothing like anything else we play with in the bath, which is not a huge deal, except that bath toys leave the bath and we play with them outside of the bath and we play with them in the pool outside and we take them outside and play with them in the dirt and bring them back in. If my kids are gonna fall in love with them, I don't want them falling apart quickly. Also, they're just so smart. When I'm looking at it, all these little grooves where water would get in, they are not hollow, they're solid. It's one solid piece of silicone. So it, there's no nooks and crannies. So far, my kids love this. Another great thing about these bath toys is you don't have to sacrifice safety, meaning these also tell you if the water's too hot. 
we do have this alternative, but it doesn't tell us anymore. So this is something that we would have to throw away and get new if we wanted the hot part to, to keep working. So this is supposed to tell us, so this is hot water, let's see. It's supposed to change color. Oh, it does. Yeah, the blue um, turns lighter blue. Oh, awesome. So this water is too hot for a bath because you can see how it's changed color being in the hot water. So as you're filling the bath, you throw this in and it tells you if you're gonna scald your baby. All right, let's see what's inside these uh, bath toys. Let's just see what's in there. There's really nothing in there. Okay, well good. This is one I'm worried about. I got this uh, right from our bath today. So there's a hole and um, it's meant to spray water. Like it doesn't, it's not a floaty. It is a toy that sprays water. It came in a pack. I wonder where all the others are from that pack. But there's so many grooves in this that I'm just kind of afraid because she squeezes this one into her mouth anytime she gets her hands on it. All right, yeah. It's not as bad as I expected. Yeah, yeah, that's gross. It's just those little indentions that have all the nasty on it. All right, Sophie. Bye, Sophie. Select a song. out okay so I don't think this was ever used in the bath because the website says not to do that but I know she chews hardcore on this and I know the squeaker sounds wet I don't even want to look in the feet <sighs> let's do it let's do it Ew, there's like black stuff coming out. Woo! Okay, so what have we learned here? This is disgusting. Sorry about that, that's disgusting. Please don't misunderstand, I am not saying to throw your bath toys away. I'm just saying, be careful. And if you're like me and you're curious about what's inside, just don't even look. <laughs> Go get yourself some of these. They're safe, they're not that expensive. Luckily they're on Amazon, which I love because I can get them in two days. And they're so fun, your kids will never know they're missing the other toys, I promise. Mine love these. So I put the links down below. Thank you so much for supporting my channel by clicking on the links at no cost to you, but it really does help support this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. If this has helped, if you learned something, click the like button, thanks for the thumbs up, and share with a parent who needs to hear this. <laughs> I will see you next week, bye. What an amazing baby shower gift. You know that it's gonna be safe and it's gonna last forever and they're gonna think of you every time they take a bath. How fun. So subscribe here in the little round circle and I will see you next week for more Parenting Made Easy, subscribers or survivor, what's it called? Hit the subscribe if you're interested in more, you get all the updates. Thank you so much for the like. If you learned something, thought it was disgusting, or cannot wait to throw away your own bath toys and share with a parent friend who needs to hear this.